If you're needing a bread recipe that will not make you bloat, you have to try homemade sourdough. Here's how to make it. You're gonna start with a sourdough starter. You can buy some online, ask a friend, or if you have the patience, make one from scratch. To 40 grams of my starter, I'm adding 40 grams each of water and flour. Mix well, cover, once doubled in size, pour 80 grams into a bowl. Add 250 grams of water, mix, then add 350 grams of flour. Mix until all the flour is incorporated, then cover and rest for 30 minutes. Add 10 grams of salt and form into a ball. Cover for 45 minutes, then stretch and fold your dough. Pull the side up and fold over, rotate your bowl and continue two more times, then cover. After 45 minutes, coil fold your dough. Pull the middle up and allow the bottom to fold under itself. Rotate the bowl and repeat two more times. After 45 minutes, repeat the same coil fold technique one more time. Cover for the bulk rise untouched until doubled in size. Lightly flour your surface area, then flip your bowl over, releasing the dough. Next, I'm folding the right and left side in, then the top and bottom in. Roll up tightly into a burrito, add some flour to a banneton basket, then add your dough. Cover and refrigerate for 12 hours. After the cold ferment, flip your banneton over a sheet of parchment paper, brush any remaining flour evenly, then make your scores. I'm making one long score across the side and then some decorative scores on the top. To a 450 degree preheated Dutch oven, carefully add your dough, cover and place in the oven on the middle rack. Turn the heat down to 400 degrees and bake for 20 minutes. Remove the lid and bake an additional 20 minutes. Allow to rest at room temperature for one hour before slicing. Sourdough not only tastes amazing, but it's also easy to digest and nutritious. I hope you try it and let me know what you think.